Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this one we are going to look at how we can set up a timer for our project. This is a very simple setup and you can use this for different scenarios in your project. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see how it's done. Alright, in order to create the timer, there are a lot of ways to do the job, but uh, in this case, we are going to use a function called set timer by event. In order to showcase the function, I'm going to open my level blueprint and here drag off a wire from my begin play and search for set timer by event. What this does is that when it's triggered, it will call an event based on the time that you define here. So for example, if you set it on one and enable looping, an event will be called every second and this will loop until you stop the timer. So here, for example, let's create a custom event, name it timer then plug in the delegates and now you can see that for example if you add a print string function and set the duration on something high so it doesn't go away immediately you can see that every one second the function will be called and this is how we are going to set up our timer you can uh, set the logic here in your level blueprint. You can set it on any actor in your level or you can create another blueprint for the timer or even you can do the logic inside a widget blueprint which is what we are going to do in this case. So here, let me get rid of this and go to my timer folder here and create a widget blueprint so here right click go for user interface and widget blueprint user widget and name it wbp timer we are going to make our ui using the designer tab in the widget blueprint and then we are going to create the logic in the graph menu so here first let's uh, go to our designer tab and add a canvas panel so search for canvas panel drag it in and then set the size on 1920 by 1080 after that we are going to add a text to our canvas so here drag a text into the canvas then anchor it to the top and after that we are going to adjust the position so here let's set it on 0 0 and after that we are going to set the alignment on 0 0.5 and now we can play with our y value and place the text wherever we like so here let's set the text on zero for now and then here align the text to the center so it looks like this and then bump up the font size so for example let's go with 90 or 80 like this all right this is going to show the time and before we go for the logic first let's uh, add it to our viewport so in order to be able to see this you need to create this widget that you made using another blueprint you can use your level blueprint or you can use any other actor in the level and in this case i am going to create my widget from my level blueprint so open it up and here add an event begin play and then all you need to do is to add a create 
widget function and here in the class select the widget that you made so search for timer and here it is next you need to add this function here so search for add to viewport and for the target plug this return value output here now when we play the game you can see that the widget is created and we can see it in our viewport now let's go back to our widget blueprint and create the logic for this value here in order to be able to control this value we need to bind it to a variable so here in your graph create a variable name it second and set the variable type on integer then we need to go back to our designer mode and then bind this text to the variable we just made now we are able to control the value using this variable here all right now we are going to use the set timer by event function and uh, using that we are going to create our timer so here from event construct drag of a wire search for set timer by event then create a custom event name it timer and plug it in now let's set the time on one enable looping and now what is going to happen is that every one second this will be called what we want to do is to grab this variable and subtract one unit every time this is called in order to do that all you need to do is to drag off a wire search for decrement integer and plug this in this is how you can subtract one unit from a variable another way to do it is to just get the variable then hit subtract subtract one unit from the variable and then set it again so these two setups are exactly the same and you can go with whatever you like so let me go back to this and now when we play the game and for example when we set our time on 40 it should subtract one unit from the variable on every second so let's play the game and yeah as you can see it's working perfectly all right let's go back and add a minute variable as well so here in the widget blueprint just duplicate this integer and name it minutes then here in designer let's duplicate this by hitting ctrl d placing it here and then setting the text like this and next let's duplicate this again put it here and this is going to show the minutes this is going to show the seconds and this is going to be like this and we do not need to control this so here we do not need any binding this is uh, the seconds so it needs to be binded to seconds and this should be binded to our minutes all right so now we need to set some logic for this as well so here in our graph we need to add a couple of functions here to control the seconds and the minutes first we need to check that if our seconds equals to zero so here drag off a wire search for a branch 
and for the condition we are going to drag off a wire from our seconds variable then hit equal and check if it's equal to zero if this is true we need to do a couple of things first we need to set the seconds back on 59 so here drag this and set it on 59 another thing we need to do is to subtract one unit from our minutes so here get the minutes and like this we are going to search for decrements integer and plug the same what it's going to do is to check that if our seconds is zero it will set the seconds variable back on 59 and it will also subtract one unit from our minutes so let's uh, for example set the minutes on one then set the seconds on 10 and see what happens yeah here as you can see it's working perfectly and now the seconds and the minutes are working together another thing we need to do is to make the timer stop when it hits zero here if we for example uh, set the seconds on two and the minutes on zero and play the game you can see that it will go on and on and it will not stop so we need to do something about this as well all we need to do here is to stop the timer when our seconds and minutes hit zero so before this we need to add another branch and for the condition we are going to get the minutes and check if they equal to zero so if our minutes is zero we need to stop the handle and if it's not zero we can uh, subtract one unit and also set the seconds on 59 so here drag of a wire search for clear and invalidate timer by handle and for the handle just plug this return value from the function now here let's compile and play and now you can see that it stops when everything hits zero you can also remove the widget as well so you can here just add a remove from parent function when everything is on zero this is up to you you can either uh, just stop the time or you can remove the timer and clear your viewport yeah and your logic should look something like this so every time this is called one unit from the seconds will be subtracted next we are going to check that if our seconds is set on zero and also our minutes is on zero we will clear the timer but if our minutes is not zero we are going to set the seconds on 59 and also subtract one unit from the minutes variable all right now for example you can choose a value for your minutes let's go with two and let's go with 59 for our seconds and also you can adjust the placement of these based on your setup and your uh, viewport so for example let's uh, set them like this then choose a cool font for them as well so here let's set the font on this 
cyberpunk to font that I added to my project and let's make sure that the value for y for this equals to this this is 52 and this is 48 so let's uh, copy and paste the value here so they are aligned perfectly and now let's play the game and yeah that's it as you can see everything is working perfectly and this is how you can simply set up a timer for your project thank you guys for watching and if you learned something new from this tutorial please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one